Welcome back to another video. Uh, in this video, I am going to show you how to color using layers. Um, in the last video, I told you a little bit about layers and how they work and what they are used for. And so now I will show you on how to color some with layers. All right, so here we go. We're going to start off with a new blank white document. So in order to do that, we're going to go to file, go to new and then choose your size of the of whatever choose whatever size you want your document to be in mine's gonna be 1920 by 1080 click ok and then you will be presented with a white background if your foreground color is white if not then it'll be a different color but if it's white your background will be white and in order to reset your default colors press this little button right here boom there you go black and white your default colors and then now we are gonna draw on a transparent background all right so in order to make a new in order to do that i mean a transparent layer and in order to do that we are gonna go to this little button this white page looking thing with the plus on it in the bottom right hand corner we're gonna click on that and it'll uh, a pop-up dialog will appear which will be uh, how to create our new layer we'll go ahead and call this layer circle that'll be the layer name fill with transparency click OK and now select your brush tool and then draw a circle all right, cool, simple, right? All right, and now what we're gonna do is fill the circle in with a diff with a different color. I mean, with a color. All right, so what you want to do is go make another new layer by going down and clicking that button again. Call this layer color. Make sure it's also a transparent layer. Click OK. Boom, done. And now grab your paint bucket tool or your bucket fill tool double click on this on your colors right here double click on it and you'll it'll uh, bring up this page which you can select the colors choose random color choose whatever color you like in this video I, for this video I'll choose red click OK and now click in the middle right here Make sure you're on your color layer too. So now click. Oh shoot, what happened? Well, what happened is that you were on a layer and so it'll fill up the whole layer because of where you're at. In order to just color in the circle, what you could do is be on the layer that the circle is drawn on and click in the middle of it and it'll just fill it up in there. However, the thing with this is that sometimes you don't want to mm, have the color layer and the outline and this, the outline of a circle in the same layer because maybe you want to change the color or you just, there are many reasons as to why. So what we're going to do is go back to your empty layer actually go to click on your circle layer and then click on this fuzzy select tool click in the middle of the circle and now we're gonna click on the color layer grab your paint bucket tool again and then click on there boom and now you're able to color your color layer instead of a circle layer and then in order to deselect you're gonna go to select none it'll deselect and now you have the color layer on a separate layer now you have the color on a separate layer which is nice because then sometimes you want to change the color right away and now all you have to do when you want to do that is um 
pretty much just grab this fuzzy select tool again and click on the color and then change the color. Um, whoops, I did something. Anyways, there are many reasons as to why you would want to use this method of coloring. Um, one of the main reasons is that you could change the layer, the order of your layers. So generally you want your outlines to be above your color. So we're going to reorganize this, la our layers panel right here. Dra click and drag your circle layer and pu put it above your color layer. And then now, the reason why I want to do this is because let's say you grab your paintbrush tool. Now you could easily color, oops, wrong layer, make, like I said, always make sure you're on your correct layer. So select your color layer, and now you could color behind this line right here. You could, you could now color above the black outline of your circle, and it won't show up because of your layer order. Your color layer is behind your circle layer, so pretty much your circle layer and since it's behind your circle, since your color layer is behind your circle layer, your your circle layer will just block every will block out um whatever red is behind it. So if you if you put it above, if you put your color layer above your circle layer, then it'll show where you are coloring right at the black line layer. And this is why we use layers in order to do that. And then you have this clean look right here. This clean look without that white little space in between the color and your outline of whatever shape you're doing. So yeah, this is why coloring layers is nice. Alrighty, deuces.